Hey there, I'm not Dan, but in this video we're going to be doing some gas stoichiometry. It's... Welcome back. And once again, before we go any further, be sure to grab yourself a calculator. Got it? Alright, let's go. Alright, here we go with some gas stoichiometry, which is essentially the same as regular stoichiometry, it just has a few slight modifications. However, if you need a quick refresher in normal stoichiometry, then click this card right here, and it will take you directly to one of my earlier videos. As such, let's take a look at gas stoichiometry. Now, in order for this to work, these equations must be at S T. P, that standard temperature and pressure. If it is not, then this little trick that I'm going to be showing you here in this video will not work. Okay, so this must be at STP. All right, and there are two different ways that we can look at this. All right, so let's take a look at this first question so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about here. All right, it says, how many liters of oxygen are used if 3.75 liters of CO2 are produced? And obviously we're using this equation right here. Okay, so I'm going to start with my given. 3.75 liters of C, whoops, <laughs> CO2 over 1. Now, because this is a liters to liters conversion, then what I can do is I can take these numbers up here in the balanced equation and say that they are a volume ratio. Okay, so they're not just a molar ratio, they're also a volume ratio, as long as we're at STP. Okay, so since we've got liters of CO2 on top, we're going to have liters of CO2 on the bottom. And since we're looking for liters of oxygen, that's what will go on top here. And we just take our numbers right out of the equation. Okay, so we've got 3 liters of O2 and 2 liters of CO2. Okay, so we're going to do 3.75 times 3 divided by 2. And when you type that all out in your calculator, what you end up with is 5.625. And now our original number over here is 3.75, which has three significant figures. So that means we can only have three sig figs in our answer. So we're going to count one, two, three. The next number is a five, which means we round up. So we end up with 5.63, and the unit left over is liters of oxygen. Okay. Now remember, you can only do that one-step process if it's a liters to liters conversion. But what if it's something like the second question? We have how many liters of water are produced from 7.25 moles of oxygen? So this is a moles to liters conversion. And this would also be the same if it was a liters to moles. Okay, so we're going to go back up to our molar express right here. And just like it was before, we got moles 1 and moles 2 separated by the balanced equation right here in the middle. But we're going to modify it slightly so where on the ends, instead of grams, this is going to be liters. So this is liters 1, and this is liters 2. And our conversion rate to go between liters and moles at STP is 22.4 liters per 1 mole. Okay, so same thing over here. 22.4 liters per 1 mole mole. This is our conversion rate that helps us convert between liters and moles. So let me show you what I mean. We're going to take our given 7.25 moles of oxygen over 1. So since this is moles of the given, that is by definition moles 1, so we're starting here, it's asking for liters of another substance. So that is liters 2. So first we're going to do moles 1 to moles 2 then we'll go to liters 2. So this is a two-step process here. Okay, so moles of oxygen is on top, which means moles of oxygen goes on the bottom. And since we're trying to go for moles 2 here, that means moles of number 2, which is water, so H2O, that's what goes on top. We go to our balanced equation, there are 2 moles of water and 3 moles of oxygen. 
Okay, so moles of oxygen can cross out. We are now at moles 2, and we're going to go to liters 2 using this 22.4 liters per mole. Right, so moles of water is on top, which means moles of water is on the bottom with liters of H2O on top. Okay, and our numbers are right here. That is 22.4 liters per one mole. Okay, moles of water are able to cross out. We are now at our stopping point, and so we can put the equal sign and pick up the calculator. So we're going to do 7.25 times 2 times 22.4, then divided by 3. And what we end up with is 108.27. But since we can only have three sig figs, we count 1, 2, 3. The next number is a 2, which means we round down. So this is 108, and our units are liters of H2O. Okay? So those are the two different kinds of problems that you can have. You can either have a liters to liters conversion, which you just use the number straight out of the balance equation, or if it's a liters to moles or moles to liters, then you have to do your moles to moles first, and then also your uh, 22.4 liters per mole. And remember, this all must be at STP. All right, so now that you've seen me work that out, what I'm going to do here is once again, I'm going to scroll on down. Here are two more questions for you to work out. So I'm going to ask you to pause here real quick, and then you work out it, uh, work, work, work everything out on your own, and then you'll start again, and you will see the answers pop up on your screen. All right, so get ready to pause here in one, two, three, pause. All right, so here are the answers. Let me know if you have any questions about how to do any of these. And please remember that all of this must happen at STP. If it is not at STP, well, that's actually the topic for the next video. So I will see you then. Well, once again, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. If you have any further questions, please be sure to comment below. Um, and while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And be sure to check out all the other tutorial videos that I've got here on this channel. All right, remember, I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later.